Hi, this is lesson 3.2, place value of decimals. And the essential question, the question that guides our learning, is how do you read, write, and represent decimal numbers? And when we go through this lesson, you're going to see that we're going to read, write, and represent these numbers in three different ways. We're going to write them in standard form, we're going to write them in expanded form, and also in word form. Now, if this lesson seems difficult to you as you're going through it, uh, you should review the place value names. That's probably the one thing that's going to make it difficult if you don't know uh, tenths, hundredths, and thousandths and where they are in the decimal numbers. Uh, it's going to be very difficult. All right, so by the end of this lesson, you should be able to do two things. Number one, name value of digits in a number by naming the digit and then the place value position. So just let me give you a quick uh, example of that. So if I had a number of 0 0.14 and I wanted to know what is the value of that digit, uh, I'm going to name that digit, which is a 4, and then I'm just going to name the place value. It's in the, let's see, this is 1s, 10ths, and 100ths. So it's uh, 4 hundredths. That's 100 with a TH on it. And that's it. Name the, the digit and then the place value, and you have the... Uh, value of the digit. So I think that one's going to be uh, something we can handle. The other one though, writing in expanded form or standard form, expanded form, and word form. I think standard form we're going to do okay with, word form we're going to do okay with, but expanded form we're going to need to do uh, a little bit of work with. So here's our notes for uh, lesson 3.2 and I put the essential question in note form today so if you already wrote that down you don't have to rewrite it. Um, but uh, here are our two notes. What is what is, <laughs> notes? What is standard form, and what is expanded form? So place value chart, and we're going to use this uh, to talk about expanded form. So what is expanded form? It's uh, naming the place values and then um, adding them all together, uh, breaking them up and adding them all together. So let's say I had the number. 3.453 uh, and to represent that in expanded form so we're going to do expanded here um, we're going to say three ones plus four tenths plus four or five hundredths plus three thousandths equals this number right and so let's break it up uh, separate from each other so it's three ones and we represent that by three times one and then we're going to add that to the tenths and that's four times one tenth or four times tenths and we're going to represent that as a fraction one tenth and we're going to add that to the next thing which is five of these which are hundredths we're going to represent that by one over one hundred and then finally we're going to add the three thousandths and that's going to be three times one over you guessed it one thousand and the thing that uh, i'm going to encourage you to do is put parentheses around all of these because it keeps them all separated and you can see that now the ones are represented by that the tenths there's four of them that are represented by that. Hundredths are represented here. And then the thousandths are represented over there. And just kind of splits up uh, the number nicely. So uh, when we get to doing expanded form, we're going to use our place value chart. And we're going to write them out just like this. All right, now getting to the, the book work. First part of our book work is uh, being able to write the value of the underlined digit. Now, uh, earlier I said, to find the value of the underlying digit, you name the digit, so that's a four, right? Hopefully you see that that's a four. And then you just name the place value. So this is the ones place, it's zero. Tens place, tenths place, excuse me, is five. But this four is in the hundredths place, and so what is the value of that? It's in the, it's four hundredths. And again, that's 100 with the f on it. 
if you wanted to represent that in standard form, in numbers, it's four in the hundredths place. And so let me write that right below here. That's a four in the hundredths place. So to fill in the blanks here, either one of those answers, four hundredths or four in the hundredths place as a standard form is gonna work fine. All right, here's number three. Let's see the value of this underlined digit. Well, it's a two, so I know the value is gonna be two of something. And it's two in the tenths place. Tenths is the one that's right next to the decimal. And it's two tenths. Mathematically, then, it's two in the tenths place, or 0 0.2. All right, last one uh, on this skill is going to be uh, representing this number here. It's a four, so I'm going to write a four there. And then it's in the thousandths place, so it's four thousandths. Uh, mathematically, it's 0 0.004 or 4 thousandths, or either one is exactly the same. Okay, our next task is to uh, write the number, this number, in two other forms. Well, we see it, it's already in standard form. So the two other forms are word form and also um, expanded form. So let's take on the word form. And the word form, you're just naming that number. Uh, and so it's 0 0.253, but it's 253 watts. And so n knowing where the number ends uh, is going to help us name that number. So it doesn't end in the tenths place because there's more numbers after that. It doesn't end in the hundredths place because there's more numbers after that, or there's another number after that. It ends in the thousandths place. So that's going to help us by saying it's zero and, and the and is, when you see the decimal, you use the word and, and then it's 253. If it ends in the thousandths place, it's 253 thousandths. And so it's 200 50 with a hyphen, 53 thousandths. And why is thousandths again? Because it ends in the thousandths place. All right, so that's the word form of this number. So how do we write expanded form of this number? First of all, I'm going to need a little bit more room, so I'm going to take my place value chart and move it over so I have a little bit of room down here. Uh, and then I'm going to use my place value chart to help me figure out how many is uh, of these things are in each of the uh, places. So it's zero point, points already on there, 253. And now step by step, we're going to be taking on uh, how many ones and tens and tenths and hundredths and so on. So uh, the first thing was zero, there's zero ones. If, I, if there's a zero of anything, I don't have to put it on there. So I'm not even going to put zero ones. I'm going to put the two tenths on there. So it's two times the place value, which is one tenth. And then we're going to add that to the next thing, which is five of these things. They're called hundredths. And so it's five times 100. And then the last one is three times one thousandth. And then put your parentheses around each one of those. And that's the expanded form of that number. Two in the tenths place, five in the hundredth place, and three in the thousandths place. Erase this, so I'm going to use it one more time. All right, next one. Naming this in words. All right, we've got 7.632. It ends in the thousandths place again. So I'm going to use that in my name. First, I'm going to name the whole numbers. It's seven. I'm trying to write slightly smaller this time. Uh, the word and, because that's what the decimal says, and. And then it's 632 thousandths, because the number ends in the thousandths place. 
32 thousandths. All right, that's one form, word form. So now let's name this an expanded form. In expanded form, you have 7 in the ones place, 6 tenths, 3 hundredths, and 2 thousandths. Got just enough room right here. So I'm going to represent the ones by 7 times the place value, which is ones. I'm going to add that to 6 times the place value, which is 6 tenths. We represent that by 1 over 10 or 1 tenth. I'm going to add that to 3 of the hundredths. Oops, I wrote it backwards there. 1 over 100. And then finally, we're going to add that to 2 times the thousandths. And there you have it. All right, so what's our to do? We're going to work on uh, the student workbook page, the page that you're working on now. But you're going to be completing uh, problems 7 through 14. Good luck.